Hey groups, it is good to be with you guys another weekend here in March. Um, we're excited for where this series is going and want to be transparent. This weekend looked a little bit different than we were expecting. Um, if you got the text or email that went out, uh, Eric's daughter ended up having a seizure in New York. So our, our services were kind of up in the air with what they're going to look like this weekend. Um, but we've prepared well in advance and we feel God has continued to go ahead of us um, in the teachings and in groups questions. Um, so this week we had already prepared um, message questions for defiance. Um, as we continue to go through the Bible, we've been in the book of Numbers, um, and the message may not directly relate to that as well as it typically does, um, since Eric may not be here this weekend. But I do think um, if you guys have been in devotions, if you guys have been in the marathon edition of reading, or even just coming into the building itself, um, I think these questions are still rich for conversation, and I hope um, you're able to dive into these, even if even if this weekend looked a little bit different. So I encourage you, um, if the questions don't align with with what happened this weekend, to just experiment. Where are you guys at? How how does this look like for you guys as leaders in the room um, and as people who are engaged in the Word of God? Uh, don't be afraid to have conversations with other things that spoke to you about the service. So with that being said, um, kids, there are questions on that sheet for you guys. Leaders, you can walk them through that. Otherwise, adults will jump to your questions in just a minute. All right, groups, question number one. Um, and this goes back to our challenge from last, last week and the reminder of what that is. It says, the challenge from last week is, was to pray that through learning about the Old Testament law, so right, Leviticus, all those laws that we read about, um, praying that through learning about these laws, you would grow to understand that God desires to be in a relationship with you. Um, in your prayers throughout this past week, did anything come to mind? Did God speak to you in a new way? All right, question number two. I really love this one, and I love this idea of the value of being palms up. And the question in this is, um, give an example of a time in your life when you held on to something maybe too tightly, right? And later learned that you needed to have more open hands. Um, what's a time in your life where that may have happened? All right, for number three, start by reading Psalm 24. All right, the questions in this are, what parts of the psalm sticks out to you? Do you have any questions um, over any of these different parts? And what does this psalm tell you about God? Could be about who he is, his character, uh, his actions towards some people. All right, for number four, the Israelites grumbled against God and not because God did not provide for them because, right, he was doing that with the manna that they were getting, but because he provided that provided for them in a way that they weren't happy with. The manna wasn't good enough for them. Um, for the first one in this, read at Numbers 11, four through nine to start, and then we'll have a few questions coming out of that. All right, this is a moment for reflection. Uh, is there a posture, is this a posture that you have had in the past? And is this a posture that you have now? We see throughout the book of Numbers that there are consequences to rebelling against God. And Numbers 14, 18, 
Moses repeats what God said about himself in Exodus. So a few books before Moses repeats that. I want you to first read Numbers 14, 17 through 19, and then Exodus 34, 6 through 7. And ask yourself, how does God forgive every sin and rebellion and still not excuse the guilty? How does that work? All right, to start number six, why don't you start by reading Numbers 15, verse 30. Now take some time to discuss this verse. What do you think is the difference between the sins that, the, that had been sacrificed for them in Leviticus and this sin in Numbers 1530, where the person must be sent away from the community immediately? All right, everyone, the challenge for this week um, is to simply walk around with your hands up. And I guess not, palms up, I guess. And it doesn't need to be literally. Maybe it should be to remind you to have this posture in your life. Uh, but when you physically notice that your fi fists are clenched or tightened, literally just open them up and surrender whatever situation that you're stressed about, whatever situation that you're worried about, um, give that over to God in that posture. Simply doing that um, could maybe give you a different perspective on what God may be doing in your life. Um, if you've got some time, uh, there is a pretty cool Digging Deeper section that looks at Acts and how that relates to what's going on with uh, the defiance that the people have had. I mean, it speaks really clearly in that. So if you have time, take a look at that. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great week. We will see you again soon.